All right, guys, we made it to the haunted house. Legend says this place is still haunted by ghosts to this day. Uh, pff, yeah, right. Like, ghosts are actually real. Hey, they could be real. I'd be careful if I were you, Cam. Yeah, this place looks kind of spooky. Whoa, yeah, I guess we should go inside. Guys, we got to explore this place. This thing is awesome. This place just looks abandoned. Well, yeah, it's a super, super old house. And wait, do you guys even know about the story of this place? Uh, no, you kind of just, like, dragged this along. Oh, wait, you guys are in for a treat. Pretty much a long, long time ago, there was a kid named Timmy and his dad who lived here. Oh, okay. Okay, what's so scary about that? Oh, well, here, let me just keep going. Now, Timmy's dad wasn't just any normal dad. He was a super, super strict dad. For some reason, he was always super strict with his son, Timmy, and Timmy was actually a pretty good kid. He always got A's at school and did his chores on time, and for a long time, they, they just lived happily like that. It just sounds like a normal family to me. But wait, what changed? Well, one day, Timmy came home with an F on his report card, and his dad got super, super mad at him and ended up locking him in his room. Room. <gasps> okay, uh, 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 that just sounds like he grounded him. Well, this wasn't just a normal grounding. Pretty much, the dad locked Timmy in his room and then blocked off the door with iron bars so he couldn't escape. And guys, guess how long he left him in the room for? Um, until dinner time? No, he left him in there for a week. And when he went to check on him again, Timmy starved. He was no longer in there. Uh, <laughs> really? That's the best you could come up with, Dash? It, well, no, no, it's, it's real. It, it actually happened. I'm not joking. I think it takes about a month to actually starve, dude. Dash, no, there's no way that's real. Why would a ghost haunt a place because uh, some kid starved? Well, legend says on the day that Timmy's dad found out his kid starved, he packed it up and just left this place. But there's been rumors that people have seen his dad walking around these halls during nighttime. Wait, what is that real? Apparently, he comes and haunts the place at night. But, guys, it's daytime right now. We should be good to explore this place. That's very creative, Dash. Anyway, let's just explore this place. There's no way there's a ghost here or that weird, strict, uh, haunted dad. Damn, I'm not making this up. I read it online. I'm pretty sure it's real, but... Whoa, guys, I think this is their kitchen. This place is super dirty. I'm gonna clean up some of the spider web. You know you can't believe everything you read online, right, Dash? Yeah, but there was like a bunch of people talking about it. It wasn't just one source. Yeah, well, I still don't believe that story, but do you understand how weird that sounds? And what, what part of it is weird? It sounds very believable. And hold on, guys, we should go explore this side over here. Come with me. I don't want to go alone. Oh, okay, wait. No, don't leave me behind. Ruby, there's nothing to be scared of. It's just abandoned. Whoa, guys, check it out. I think this is their living room over here. This is probably where Timmy and his dad used to sit down and watch TV until Timmy starved. Oh, stop saying that. We're supposed to have fun exploring this place, not be scared. There's no way you can be scared. The scariest thing here is the cobweb. I don't know. Cam, I would be careful if I were you. That weird, strict dad guy could be listening to every word you're saying. Wait, wait, wait. Did you guys hear that? And what? To hear what? I, I thought I heard something. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really hear anything there but, whoa, guys, I think this is the dad's office. This is where he would sit down and work his job. Hey, um, can we just move on? And yeah, yeah, guys, hold on. We gotta go upstairs. I wanna see their bedrooms. I wanna see if we can find Timmy's bedroom. Maybe we can see the place that he was locked in. We're not gonna find it because he wasn't locked into his bedroom. His dad was probably just putting him in time out. And no, guys, the story is real. Apparently, he got locked in his bedroom and his dad reinforced everything with iron bars so he couldn't escape. And, okay, guys, here, we gotta be really careful. We're going upstairs now and... Wait, there's a sign over there. Hold on. Maybe this is Timmy's room over here. And Oh, guys, uh, this is dad's room. Wait, what? This looks like a normal old bedroom. Uh, guys, this place is kind of creepy. Do you not see that painting over there? Yeah, it must be a haunted painting. What, guys? No, it's just a painting. You guys need to relax. But wait a minute, guys. If we can find the dad's bedroom, then Timmy's bedroom is probably around here as well. We got to look around and... Uh, guys, there's another room over there. There's a sign. Hold on. What does the sign say? Um, uh, I don't know. Do we have to go over there? Wait, guys. I think it's Timmy's room. The rumor was real. Oh, it's Timmy's room. Uh, but I don't see any iron bars. Uh, we should go inside. Maybe we could see the ghost of Timmy. Ooh. And wait, wait, wait. Kim, Kim. I'd be careful going in there if I were you. Oh, gosh. I guess we're going in. And what? Kim, what do you mean you don't see any iron bars? There's literally iron bars on the window. I'm guessing the dad put this here to lock Timmy in. Wait, what is that on his desk over here? <gasps> Guys, I, I think it's that math test that he got an F on. Maybe that was just the one part of the story that got over-exaggerated. Maybe he wasn't locked in his room for a week. I don't know. Look at these windows, man. And Kim, I think the rumors were real. Why else would there be iron bars here if he wasn't locked in his room for a week? I don't know. Maybe the dad, like, needed to fix the windows and couldn't afford it. I don't know. And what? That doesn't make a lot of sense. But, guys, I'm going to kind of spook that. We should probably go explore other parts of the house now and... Wait, uh, guys, we, we can't really get out of the door. There, there, there was a pressure plate on that side.
side, but there isn't one on this side. W what are you talking about? Ha, huh? funny prank. Come on, let's go. No, 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 Ruby, I'm not joking. This is an iron door. We can't open it unless we have a pressure plate. Oh, let's go. Just, just, let's just, let's, 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 let's leave through the window. Come on, come on. What, Ruby, the windows are literally boarded up. We can't go through there. <laughs> Guys, calm down. You're panicking. There's got to be some way out of this room. Uh, uh, maybe there's something in the drawers that could help us. And no, there's nothing in the drawers. Uh, guys, guys, what do we do? <laughs> Ruby, calm down. We're going to end up like Timmy. We're going to starve in here. No, we're not. We're fine. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Guys, you just need to relax. We could just wait for someone to come save us. And Cam, do you know how long that's going to take? People don't come here and visit that often. Look outside. It's only water. No, no, it'll be fine. You said that a lot of people were talking about it online. I'm sure somebody will come. And oh my gosh, I don't want to wait for someone else to come here. That's going to take forever. Well, what else are we going to do? Yeah, let's just wait a couple minutes and see. Uh, I guess we can just wait. I don't know what else to do. Hopefully they're fast. And oh my gosh, guys, it's been so long and there hasn't been any visitors here. It's literally nighttime. What do we do? I don't know. You said they would be quick. What? No, Cam said that. And is Cam sleeping right now? How are you sleeping in this situation, Cam? Get out of bed. Get out of the bed. I, I, I wouldn't be in that bed if I were you. That's probably where Timmy's remains lay. Dash, it's just a bed. I'm tired. It's nighttime. I want to at least take a nap. Oh, my gosh. Well, we can't just nap this entire time. Guys, we have to come up with a way to escape. Otherwise, we're going to starve in here. Well, I don't see any key or anything in here. There's nothing to do. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, hold on a minute. Maybe there's some other explorers in the house now that it's been super long. I I'm going to try calling for them. Hello? Any other explorers in this house? Anyone here? And uh, wait, guys, I, I I think I just saw someone in the hallway. Hello? Hello? Is there anyone out there? Let us out! Let us out! Wait, uh, guys, I don't think that's another explorer. I think that's Weird Strict Dad himself. Uh, uh, no way, he ran away from this place. Come on, come on, let us out, let us out. Wait, 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 uh, guys, I didn't see his full body, but I saw yellow and green colors. I'm pretty sure that's the colors that Weird Strict Dad was wearing. Wait, what? Do you see him? Do you see him? He's literally, uh, Ruby, hide, 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 behind the door, behind the door. <laughs> Oh, no. Everyone, come back to the bed. Don't go near the door. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're right. You're right, guys. We cannot be near that door. What if Weird Strict Dad comes into the room? What are we going to do? I don't know. Um, I'll go from the left. Ruby, you go from the middle. Dash, you go from the right. And then we just attack. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Cam, he's literally a ghost. I don't think we can really attack him. Oh, gosh. I can't believe the rumors were real. He's supposed to come out at midnight and he haunts the place. If we get caught in here, it's going to be over. Okay, okay. We just got to find a way out of here. Let's see. Hmm. The windows aren't going to work since they're all blocked off. Maybe we can go through like the little cracks over here and no i can't fit um maybe there's a hidden trap door under the bed no ruby why would there be a hidden trap door underneath the bed oh my gosh we're gonna end up like timmy this is not good trap doors Trap doors. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ruby, I don't think there's going to be any trap doors underneath the furniture. Why would that be a thing? But oh, wait, wait, hold on. Ruby, place all that furniture next to the door. We got to block it off. <gasps> You're right. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Let's put this here and here and here. Okay, okay. There we go. The door has been blocked off. But guys, we still don't have a way to get out of here. We got to escape. Um, I don't know how much time we have left. What do we do? Wait a minute, guys. Uh, There's a creeper outside of our window. <gasps> what if we use the creeper to blow up a wall? How are we supposed to do that? Creeper, come here. Come on. Well, guys, we have to lure the creeper over here and get him to blow up. Hey, creeper, uh, you want to go over here in front of this wall and just uh, blow it up for us? That would be really nice. Hell, you know you have to uh, make it angry. And yeah, yeah, wait, guys, how do we make a creeper angry? What's the best way to do that? I don't know, maybe punch him or something? Wait, wait, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Hold on, hold on. Let me go out over here. There was a little gap in the window here. Maybe I can go there and punch the creeper. I just got to do a little bit of parkour over here like this. And hey, uh, creeper, you want to you wanna come out over here? Come on, creeper, get over here, please. Oh, no. Wait, the creeper's going into this wall here. Are you kidding me? Wait, oh, it just blew up. Let's go. <gasps> we can get out. Let's go. Let's get out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, let's finally get out of this place. But, guys, we gotta be really careful. Weird Strict Dad probably heard that. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Come on, where are our boats? And oh gosh, guys, before we can get to our boats, we have to jump off of the roof. How are we going to do this? We need to find some water. Yeah, there has to be a place where it's lower. Come on, let's look. Yeah, guys, here, we just got to keep looking around. We got to look for some water that we can jump on to. Uh, guys, Weird Strict Dad is right there. I forgot this is his room. Guys, we got to go. We got to go. Run, run, run. Run, he's chasing us. <gasps> he's literally right behind me right now. Oh gosh, oh gosh, why is he chasing me? I'm running, I'm running. I'm just going to jump off the roof. Wait, wait, where did you guys go? Hold on, guys, I just ran in a big circle. Weird Strict Dad is still chasing me. We just jumped. We're downstairs. Run. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, okay. Let me just jump here. Oh, I can jump into the water. All right, all right. I'm going. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Wait, are you guys inside of the house? Yeah. I'm looking for our boats. I can't find them. They're not here. Wait, what? Weren't they in front of the house? And 
Uh, guys, why are our boats not there anymore? I don't know. He must have taken them away. Oh, gosh. Uh, guys, I think we're stuck on this island with Weird Strict Dad. Even if we had our boats, it's, uh, kind of scary out there in the ocean right now. It's nighttime. What do we do? We're gonna get trapped just like Timmy. Guys, we're fine. Just relax. It, it, it's just our mind playing tricks on us. We just need to sleep. And what? No, no, no. Cam, Cam, our mind is not playing tricks on us. We, did you not see Weird Strict Dad? He was literally chasing us. Yeah, it's just because we're tired. Come on, we're fine. And No, 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 Cam. It's not because we're tired. Last time I saw him was right around that corner he is very real and i think we lost him we should be good for a little while but uh guys we gotta find somewhere to hide we need to hide somewhere inside of the house okay 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 um let's just be really quiet and yeah yeah is weird strict dad anywhere around here i think we should be good to go let's go this way and okay i don't see him anywhere around here uh, let's keep going let's keep going and uh, uh, guys guys he's literally right over there he's in his office he's uh, we gotta go the other way we gotta go the other way this way this way to the kitchen uh maybe we could just find a place to hide in the kitchen oh gosh oh gosh yeah i think the kitchen's our best spot uh, guys how is he right over there he was just in his office how did he get to the kitchen uh what are you talking about oh uh, i see him we should probably get out of the basement uh, yeah yeah l let's go up on the second floor guys we gotta go we gotta go where are we hiding <gasps> maybe somewhere on the balcony over here this could be a pretty good hiding spot mm, i don't think so he would literally just chase us around here there's no Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, guys. Hold on. I have an idea. I'm pretty sure there was, like, a little deck down here. Why don't we just go underneath the deck down there? Under it? Yeah, yeah. That way he'll never find us. But hold on. We need to jump down again. We need to go find that water that we can jump into. Oh, I did not land in the water. Kim, why would you just jump off like that? That's gonna hurt a lot. But check it out, guys. We can just, like, hide underneath this deck area over here. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Let's just make a, a quick little room. And Yeah, yeah, guys. We gotta make ourselves a little secret hidden base so that Weird Strict Dad doesn't find us. Oh, gosh. Wait, what happens when he does find us. What is he gonna do? I don't know. He's probably gonna lock us into Timmy's room and then make us starve to death or something. No, I don't want that. Well, guys, guys, if we don't want to get caught, we got to build this base super, super hidden. And, oh, gosh, right now, this is not very hidden. What if he's, like, walking around the base and he sees our entrance right over here? Guys, we got to build a more hidden entrance. What do we do? What do we do? Um, we could just cover it up with stone. And, yeah, but then how do we get out? What if we get trapped in here and we need to go out? We just have to dig. That's all, right? And, Ruby, that would literally be us trapping ourselves like Timmy. I don't want to be trapped in a base. Oh, goodness gracious. Mm, okay, okay, what could we do? And, <gasps> wait, guys, I have an idea. Why don't we... We make an automatic hidden piston door. What? What? A, a, a piston door. Have you guys never seen a piston door before? Pretty much what you gotta do is put down some sticky pistons on each side just like this. There we go. And then we can put down some stone on them like that. Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. We only need one set of pistons. We don't need two. Um, yeah. Simpler is better. And finally, we gotta grab a piece of redstone and just put it down right over here behind all of it. And check it out. Now we have a door that opens and closes. Check it out. Isn't this awesome? Uh, how are we supposed to open it? And hmm, wait, that actually is a good question. We could put a button outside. It's gonna make the base even more obvious. And, oh gosh, oh gosh, yeah, you're right. And wait, you can't even put buttons underwater. Oh gosh, okay, what do we do, guys? Wait, we can use some secret buttons. And wait, wait, what? Secret buttons? What are those? Basically, you just put it down and it looks like a piece of stone, but it's actually a button. And wait, you're telling me this is a button right here? Hold on, hold on. Let me put a piece of redstone next to it. And oh, whoa, wait, wait, that is actually awesome. That way, we can have like a button that blends in with the wall. Okay, okay, we gotta use this. Yeah, this way, Weird Strip Dad will never find us. Let's go. Okay, okay, well, here. I guess let's just put down the button uh, right over here like that. There we go. Oh, wait a minute, guys. We kind of have a problem. You can't put them underwater. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Oh, wait, hold on. Since it's hidden, we don't really need it to be underwater. Why don't we just put it um, over here like this? Yeah, that works. Yeah, that looks pretty natural. And now I guess we can just have some redstone going behind it. And all we got to do now is just connect it to the door. So there we go. Let me just connect this redstone together. And okay, perfect. I think the door is now connected to the button. Hold on, hold on. Wait, let me go outside real quick and try pressing the button and seeing if the door will open up. And yes, that works perfectly. Perfectly. Okay, awesome, guys. We have our entrance figured out, but uh, right now, this is kind of a, a bad base. We're gonna starve in here just like Timmy. Wait, I don't want to starve. Well, guys, first, we should probably make this base look nice. It's cold down here, it looks bad, and uh, we can see the water. And yeah, yeah. Okay, we gotta make this place look a little bit nicer, so uh, hmm, why don't we make it made out of wood? Ooh, yeah, maybe that'll make me feel a little better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, it is kind of cold down here. Maybe if we have some wood, it'll keep the place warmer, and okay, this is starting to look pretty good. We can have some spruce wood here for the walls. Wait, is is this the doorway? And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the door right over there. Hold on. We don't really have a way to open it up from the inside yet. I guess I can just put down a button over here for doing that. Let me just connect that button.
button up to the door. There we go. And all right, now if we press this button, it should open up the door. Boom, there we go. Okay, that's perfect. Yep, but it puts water in the house. It's fine. We can fix that. All we need is to put down a few signs over here like this. And boom, check it out. Now water is not going to leak in. Nice. All right, but guys, we should also probably make this place a little bit bigger. Right now, this is kind of cramped. This kind of reminds me of Timmy's room. We got to make this place look nice. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can make it a little, um, I don't know, the ceiling a little higher, too. Yeah, I think we can make this place a bit more spacious. And <gasps> whoa, guys, hold on. I just found a big opening over here. Why don't we use this for our base? Oh, sure. Uh, let's just put a floor on this. Yeah, yeah. And there's also a bunch of water. We got to drain this out. Let me grab a few sponges, and we got to sponge this place up. Well, wait, guys. I think we're underneath Weird Strict Dad's office right now. And wait, wait, wait. Are we actually? Oh, gosh. Everyone, we got to make sure to keep it down. If he hears us, then it's going to be over. We should just soundproof the walls. And, ooh, yeah, good idea. Uh, anyone know how to do that? Uh, no. Uh, what? I guess we can put a layer of wall on the ceiling, but here, I'm just clearing out all this water right now. I gotta put down a bunch of sponges over here to drain it all out. Come on, come on, just gotta keep on putting sponges in. Oh my gosh, this place is looking like a mess. I'll put down some sponges down here too. All right, all right, perfect, sounds good. We'll get rid of this water eventually. And phew, there we go. Okay, I think that's all the water gone, but uh, guys, now we have a new problem. We've got like a million sponges in here. This is horrible. I'll get rid of the sponges. And they're good as new. Finally, but anyways, guys, now that we got this big cleared out space, we definitely have to make a roof here. We do not want weird strict dad hearing us through the super thin roof. Let's go ahead and add like an additional layer of wood right here on the ceiling. And ooh, we can also make the walls out of wood. That should look pretty good. Okay, and then we'll put um, a little bit of wool here and there. Ooh, all right, all right. That sounds good. But anyways, guys, now that we have this big room, what should we actually build down here? Mm, what about like a, a kitchen? And Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. We're going to need some food down here so that we don't end up like Timmy. Uh, let's do that. Ooh, I don't want to starve. Come on, let's make food. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a kitchen down here. But here, let's also go ahead and build a nice little staircase here so that we can actually, you know, get down to the kitchen. Oh, yeah, that's right. There we go. This is looking pretty good. We can have it going all the way down over here. This is going to be the biggest kitchen ever. Yep, we got to make sure we don't starve. And there we go. That staircase is looking pretty good. But anyways, guys, now it's time to start building the kitchen. We can build the walls later. So here, what's the first thing that we need in a kitchen? I guess we're going to need some refrigerators, right? And some furnaces. Oh, yeah, we're going to need some furnaces to cook our food. Ooh, also some smokers so that we can cook our food super quickly. And let's just put this stuff all down over over here on this wall. Yeah, this place is looking sick. What about an oven? Ooh, yeah, good idea, good idea. This is what Timmy wished he had in his room when he was uh, locked in, but wait, Kim, I don't think these are ovens. These are washing machines. Oops, yeah, my bad. Dude, we gotta break these. We cannot have washing machines here. Actually, maybe we can have some washing machines to clean our clothes, but this is the kitchen. We need to focus on food stuff, so ooh, why don't we grab some ovens and some of these oven hood things over here, and ooh, that's looking pretty good. Ooh, ooh, and um, we need a place to cook our food on, so like, let's do this. And ooh, Ooh, yeah, some counters. That's a good idea. And wait, we're also going to need a place to actually eat our food. So why don't we put down a table? Uh, yeah, while well, you guys do that, I'm going to work on the walls. I, I I don't like stone. Oh, yeah, fair enough. The stone does look a little bit ugly. But yo, wait, this kitchen is actually coming together pretty good. Let's go. Okay, and there are the counters. Man, if only Timmy had all this stuff when he was locked in his room. Oh, my goodness. R.I.P. Timmy. Yeah, we should build a little gravestone dedication area for Timmy. Yeah, we should put Doritos on it. And, wh wh why Doritos? Why, why Doritos specifically? Um. I don't know. I figured that's his favorite food. Why would that be his favorite food, Ruby? I don't think his dad let him eat Doritos since he was, like, super strict. Wait, did he even know what Doritos were? That's so sad. I don't know, but we gotta make this kitchen decked out. We gotta have all sorts of food in here. So, here, guys, what should we put inside of our fridges? I guess we're gonna need some of the classics, like some steak, some apple, some bread, but, hmm, what other stuff? <gasps> we need some pufferfish. And, uh, uh, of course we do. Of course you like pufferfish. I guess we can put some pufferfish in there. We can put a bunch of all of these different types of food. Ooh, we got a whole meal in here. Ooh, guys, why don't we put some of these emerald apples in here? I'm pretty sure these give you, like, super OP effects, so if Weird Strict Dad ever finds our base, we could eat these and beat them up. Ooh, yeah, they are perfect. Ooh, wait, that's gonna make us super strong. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, guys, we're also gonna need some normal enchanted golden apples. I'm just gonna fill up this fridge over here with a bunch of those. There we go. And, alright, this kitchen area is looking pretty good, but, whoa, wait, wow, we have so much equipment. We have a microwave, we have a blender. Yep, and guess what I have? What? A knife. Yo, yo, yo! Okay, wait, that is actually pretty awesome. We could use that against weird strict dad if he ever tries to break in. Okay, but uh, be careful, okay? These are dangerous. I'm putting this in this this one drawer right here, okay? And Okay, okay, yeah. We should probably have a few knives. Let's put, like, uh, nine of them there. Yeah. That should be enough. Maybe that's enough for one tomato. And, well, one tomato? Ruby, what, how big are these tomatoes that you're gonna be cutting? Oh, uh, you have to throw away the knife after every slice, right? No, no, no. I don't think that's how you're you're supposed to use knives. Oh, um, okay. I think that's very wasteful, in fact. I, I think you're supposed to keep them for, like, years. Oh, what? No one 
never told me that. All right, but anyways, guys, this room is looking pretty sick. Check it out. We got the entire kitchen down here. This is awesome, but hold on a minute. We still have a lot of extra space in this room. Why don't we build a second floor? A second floor? What? Yeah, yeah, we can build a second floor where we can have another kitchen. Or wait, wait, actually, instead of a kitchen, why don't we have a farm up here so that if we ever run out of food in the kitchen, we can just have our very own farm to get food from. Ooh, that could be good. Yeah, exactly. And hold on a minute. If we're going to build a farm, we should probably grab some grass and some water. Uh, what? What? Wa what? 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 What is a wawa? Yeah, I've never heard of that before. Is that like a chip or something? What? A chip? No, no, it's wawa. Is that some sort of like animal? It's not an animal. Guys, I'm talking about this, the wawa bucket. Oh, water? And what we got to do with it is put it next to all of this grass so that our farm stays hydrated. Yeah, that's what water does. Yep, exactly. Here, let's start putting down a bunch of grass over here for the farm. And ooh, guys, we can also give it like a cool greenhouse look. Let me just go ahead and grab a few glass panes. And what I'm thinking we do is just have some glass panes around the walls like this. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Well, what kind of farming equipment do we need? Well, I guess we're going to need some hose, some bone meal, and uh, tractors. Yeah, I want a tractor. Can you even get tractors? Hold on a minute. Let me see. And yo, wait a minute, guys. We can actually get a tractor. Oh, I see you've already got it, Wad. I'm driving my tractor. And, wait, 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 wait. Can't, can't, can't. We can't have a tractor in here. We are strict dad is literally above us. He's got to hear us. Yeah, but it's a tractor, dude. We don't need a tractor. This is like a tiny farm. We can just do the hoe. Uh, my tractor. You'll be fine without a tractor. Do you want a tractor? Do you want to die? I want a tractor. Yeah, Cam, it's either tractor or dying, okay? That, those are the two options. I'd rather have the tractor. Actually, wait, no, it's not tractor or die. It's tractor or survive. If you get the tractor, you will die. All right, but here, this farm area is looking pretty good so far. Let me grab a few slabs, and we could just put those down over here to actually get up to the farm. And whoa, Kim, how did you just hoe all of that land at once? Oh, I've got a, a pretty OP hoe. It's called Hoe of the Green Earth. What the heck is that? Hold on, let me try that out. Yo, wait, it got rid of the water. Hold on, I got to place the water back. Whoa, whoa, that is such a weird way of saying. It. It's not a weird way, guys. That's completely normal where I'm from. Where are you from? I'm from the planet Earth. Well, we're all from the planet Earth, but, uh, okay. So, we have the farm, and now we need seeds and uh, supplies and stuff. You can put that in here. And Yeah, yeah. We can put the supplies in here, but, wait, Ruby, uh, I'm not sure if you know, but you can't open up chests if you have a block on top of them. What we could do instead is grab some brick slabs and put them here instead. Yeah. Whoa, okay. And here, now the next thing we need is some seeds. So, uh, guys, what are we going to be growing in this farm? Just wheats and potatoes? Mm. No, that's boring. We need some cool. Okay, well, what is cool? Watermelons. Yeah, watermelons are good. Ooh, what about seed cakes? And what about seed cakes? What the heck is that? Ew, that looks gross. Wait, can we grow cakes? I don't think you grow cakes. I'm pretty sure you make the cake with the seeds. Yeah, I don't think that you are supposed to grow the cake. Plus, these look disgusting. They look like buggers. Here, guys, I think we should just put some wheat seeds and some, uh, wait a minute, guys. We can't put seeds down. We don't have any lighting in here. Oh, gosh. How could we forget? Don't worry, guys. I got some lights. Why don't we just use some of these glowstone blocks and just put them all over the ceiling. Ooh, we can replace the wall with the glowstone. Ooh, okay. Let's go. We got our very own artificial lighting. And now, I'm pretty sure we should be able to actually grow our crops. Let's go. Don't you mean let's grow? Oh, yeah. Actually, I, I guess let's grow would probably be more right. That was not good. What do you mean? That was awesome. That was a, that was a womp womp. Womp womp. But guys, we still don't have enough lights here. We need more glowstone on the ceiling. We need some gl more glowstone blobs. What about instead of on the ceiling, we have them like a, a, around the farm like this? And ooh, wait, that actually looks kind of cool as well. All right, all right. I guess we can do that too. Wait, wasn't that wool on the ceiling for soundproofing? And Ruby, I don't think the wool was soundproofing anything. I think having an additional layer of wood over here though should be good enough. Okay. Here, I'm gonna start putting down some potatoes now. We gotta put down some potatoes over here like this and then also a few carrots and oh, we need some more lighting in here. I got it, I got it. This farm is actually looking awesome. Guys, we're never gonna starve in here. Yep, we just gotta do that, and I'm pretty sure it's finished. Let's go, but hold on a minute. We should probably put some supplies in this chest. We could put all of our seeds over here. Let's just put a bunch of seeds there like that, and then, wait, Ruby, wooden hose. No, 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 we need to put some better hose here. What? No, this is just a sign to show that this is for equipment. We're not using wooden hose. What about emerald hose? Emerald hose look cooler. Okay, just put a bunch of emerald hose in there. Let's go. We can have the emerald hose there, and then, ooh, we should also grab some bone meal for our farm, because bone meal is gonna be very important. Oh, yeah. Label the chest, label the chest. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. There we go. And all right, I think our chest should be good. But anyways, now that we got the farm done, we've got the farm, we've got the kitchen. But wait, guys, uh, what if we want to eat a big, plump, juicy steak? What? 
Ew. Guys, you can't grow a steak. I'm saying we gotta make an animal farm. Wait, he's right, though. Yeah, you could have said it better than a big, jump, plusy steak. But again, that's not what I said. I said a big, plump, juicy steak. Have you never had a big, plump, juicy steak before? Big, slum, blubbish, nurse, and Why? What, what, what did you say? <laughs> yeah, you're not even saying words right. I think you're inventing your own words, but hold on a minute, guys. Why don't we just build the farm for the animals right over here? This could be pretty good. Ooh, yeah, that would be pretty good because it's close to the other farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have it on the same floor. Why are you making it so long? What I'm thinking is we clear out a big area. Area, and then we can just have like a bunch of animal pins for the animals. Oh, all right. That sounds awesome. Yep. We can also clear out this way over here. Yep. So it's easy to get there from the stairs. Ooh, all right. All right. And well, this is going to be a really big animal farm. Well, yeah, Ruby. We don't want to run out of food. Plus, animals take a long time to grow. So, you know, we're going to need a lot of them on supply. That's right. Wait, we should make this entire place out of grass. And yeah, yeah. We got to make the floor something nice that the animals are going to enjoy walking on. So we can just make it out of some grass. Yeah, that way they'll think that they're outside and um, make better food. All right, guys. Why don't we make the floor out of some grills? Really? Yeah, yeah, the animals can be, like, walking and cooking themselves uh, for us. Wait, no, that sounds horrible. What, why? Oh, okay, fine, fine. I guess we can stick to grass. Plus, I don't think the animals can eat the grills. I think, like, the sheep need to eat the grass. Yeah, otherwise we won't get any wool. Yeah, exactly. Here, let's just go ahead and set this entire floor into some grass. And, ooh, guys, guys, we could set the walls of this place into some blue concrete so that, you know, it looks like the outdoors. Ooh, the animals are gonna love that one. Oh, yeah, we're checking the animals that are believing they're outside. Let's go! I love tricking animals. What did you just say, Dash? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. I didn't say anything. But here, I'm just gonna keep on putting this blue concrete all over the wall like this. This wall is gonna look awesome. And there we go. The ceiling is also done and filled with blue concrete. This place is looking sick. I think we're ready to start spawning in the animals. Let's go. Wait, uh, we definitely need to have some puffer fish. And, whoa, 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 whoa. Puffer fish? Why do we need puffer fish in here? Uh, for uh, freshness. And, well, uh, freshness? What are you talking about? You can't even eat puffer fish. Uh, says who? Damn, puffer fish are poisonous. Don't put them into our water. For you guys, they are. You should feed them to Weird Strict Dad so that he gets poisoned. But guys, what I'm thinking we do is what if we just build a bunch of animal pins over here all across this room and inside we can just put a bunch of animals. Yep, and we should put gates there too so sometimes we can let them out and walk. Yep, yep, yep. And wait a minute, guys. Hold on. What type of cow should we spawn? Should we spawn in a normal cow, a golden apple cow, or a chroma apple cow? I didn't know there was this many cows. Why not all of them? Oh yeah, good idea. We can just spawn in all of them. Let's start with a normal cow. Okay, that guy's looking pretty cool. Now, what about a golden cow? Yo, that thing's looking crazy. Look, it's like... It got a bunch of particles coming off of it. That is so awesome. Let me put down some gates over here at the door so they can't get out. Wait, wait. I'm pretty sure if you take out one of these golden apple cows, they drop a golden apple. Take that and oh, check it out. He just dropped two. He dropped five golden apples. What? what? How is that possible? That's definitely worth keeping. Well, what about a chroma apple cow? Hold on, hold on. I want to try spawning one of these guys in and yo. Guys, look at this guy's face. Uh, that thing looks crazy. Yeah, maybe we should have like a separate pin for these guys. Whoa, but look at his face though. It looks so derpy. What happens if I take him out. Is he gonna drop good stuff? And oh, he drops five enchanted chroma apples. I don't know what these are, but they look pretty OP. Enchanted apples? Those are always good. Yeah, yeah. These are awesome. Hold on. I think we should probably build another pin for these guys since they have like a bunch of particles coming off of them. Why don't we just build a nice little glass enclosure for them right over here? Yeah, while you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn the sheep in, get these boars going. Ooh, all right, all right. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need some sheep. What other animals are we gonna need in here? Ooh, probably some pigs in case one of us wants to eat a nice juicy pork chop. Uh, I don't need pork chops, but uh, I guess we can have them. Oh, and I know what we need. Wait, wait, what is it? What is it? Chickens! Ooh, yeah, yeah. We're definitely gonna need some chickens. You know, uh, who else is gonna make us those eggs in the morning? I guess I'll just put them with the cows. What? With the cows? No, 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 Ruby. Chickens don't belong with the cows. Put them in their own pin. Oh, okay. Wait, guys, look. The pufferfish are puffing up. They look so silly. And, well, okay, I'm still staring at the pufferfish. That's not productive. What? It's very productive. That's a waste of time. No, look at them. They're puffing up. They look awesome. Okay, and here are some baby chickies. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. I'm almost done with the apple cow enclosure. I'm just gonna build a nice little box over here for them. I guess we can leave the roof as stone. The stone roof kind of does look cool, but here, let me go ahead and spawn in a bunch of these crazy cows, and okay, I think that should be enough. If we need any more, we can just breed them together. I'm pretty sure you can just breed them like you would a normal cow, but oh. yeah, okay, these guys are looking kind of crazy. Can we can we put another one of those, like, redstone doors here so we don't get all these uh, weird particles? Uh, Cam, I don't think a redstone door is gonna stop these particles. The, the particles can go through blocks. Can they? Yep, there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, no. Oh, well, it's fine. We won't be in here all the time anyway. Yeah, but anyways, I think the animal farm is complete. Let's go. We got the chickens, the puffer fish, and oh, yeah, they are indeed puffing up for some reason. And oh, wait, hold on. We also need to spawn in a few more normal cows. And there we go. The animal farm is now officially complete. This place is awesome. And 
Uh, okay, you guys, maybe we should get rid of those cows. Their particles are kind of spreading up here. Yeah, the chroma apple ones we should at least get rid of. Yeah, okay, those ones are annoying. Chroma apple cows, come here, I'm gonna take you out. Take this! And there we go, they're all gone. Oh, no, the enchanted apple cows are leaving. Oh my gosh, get back in there, you enchanted golden apple cow. You know what, I'm just gonna take this one out. There we go. And all right, is our farming area complete? Yep, I think so. But anyways, let's go. We got all of the food figured out. We've got a kitchen and an entire farm to supply it with. But anyways, guys, what other stuff should we build inside of our hidden base? Hmm. Well, guys, we have a hidden door, but what if uh, Weird Chick Dad, you know, finds the base? And Oh, gosh, yeah, that is a good point. What are we going to do if he finds our base? Well, we could just fight him off. I mean, we still do have those knives inside of the kitchen cabinet. Yeah, but is that enough? Also, the kitchen is all the way down here. And Oh, gosh, yeah, you're right. Wait, guys, we should put down some weapons over here so that if Weird Chick Dad breaks in, we can just grab our weapons and beat him up. Oh, yeah. Ooh, let's put them over here. And yeah, yeah, we can put them in a nice hidden area so that Weird Strict Dad can't find the weapons. And is this big enough? And uh, I think this should be good. Why don't we make it a little bit more spacious? We can make the floor a little bit lower so that we have more space. Yeah, oh, oh the, the farm is right there, so be careful. And yeah, here, why don't we go ahead and set the entire floor into some blue concrete so that it all looks nice and even. There we go. And guys, we should probably add some sort of hidden door here so that Weird Strict Dad can't see it. Wait, guys, I have an idea. Wait, 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 what is it? What is it? What about another piston door? And <gasps> Another piston door? I'm on it. All right, all right, guys, what we got to do, grab some sticky pistons, some redstone, some redstone torches and ooh, guys, why don't we build it in the corner over here so that it's super, super hidden? Uh, yeah, as long as it doesn't get in the way of everything else. And is this the sky? And wait, uh, yeah, I think I dug a little bit too far. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Hold on. How about we just cover up these stairs uh, and replace them with wood like that? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, and um, maybe you should put the redstone like, like a block lower or something. And yeah, we are kind of close to the surface right now. Okay, let me just cover this up. And what we got to do is have a button to open up the door out here and also another button to open it up in here. But wait, guys, where are we going to hide the button? We don't want Weird Strict Dad finding it. Um, a secret button. We can use another one of those. Yeah, but Ruby, don't the secret buttons look like stone? They're not going to camouflage with wood. Wait, are you sure about that? Let's see here. And oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, but oh, wait, guys, why don't we just like actually hide the button? And I have an idea. What if I grab a spruce stair and just place it right down here like that? And then let's put a few pieces of spruce wood around it like this. And finally, we can put our button on the other side like that. There we go. Now it's like super, super hidden. How are we supposed to reach that? And oh, oh, wait, hold on. That is kind of hard to reach. Can you? Is it not possible? Uh, I don't think so. What if instead of that, we have the button like this? there. Okay, that could work. That's pretty hidden, too. Yeah, so we press that, and then it works. Let's go! Now we just gotta connect some redstone from this button right to the door. So, let's just go ahead and have some redstone go up like that. Perfect! And, okay, now it should work. If I press this button here, check it out. The door opens up. That is actually awesome! Let's go! Now we just gotta open it from the inside. Yep, here. What we gotta do is just have another button here. We don't have to have the button on the inside be hidden, and let's just go ahead and hook that up to the door like that, and check it out. Now we can also open the door from the inside. That is actually sick. Sweet! Alright, well, anyways, guys, I guess now that we have the door done, it should be about time to start putting down the weapons. What type of weapons are we gonna be using? Let's see. Let's put down some armor stands first. And, ooh, yeah, yeah, good idea, good idea. We can have some armor stands so that if he tries to fight us, we'll be geared up. Yep, and let's see. I'll put one down for all of us right this. And, hmm, speaking about armor, what type of armor should we grab? What's gonna be the best type of armor to stop a weird, strict dad? And, hold on a minute, guys. What do you think of this? What about this? Um, uh, no, that looks horrible. What? It's called the Soul Visage. It says it never breaks. This thing is awesome. Um, if you want to look goofy. It does not look goofy, guys. This is going to scare Weird Strict Dad away. Look at how big my head looks when I wear it. Hold on. What other types of armor could I use? Oh, wait. Hold on, guys. I think I got some armor for you guys as well. Hold on. Uh, Ruby, put this one on and can't put this one on. What? No, I'm not putting on your little mask. I've got my own. No, no, no. Put it on. Put it on. It's going to be better than your own. You can't even see through that. And Yo, guys, aren't these masks scary? This is horrible. No, guys, this is going to scare Weird Strict Dad off. This looks awesome. It only gives me one armor. What? Okay, well, it's better than whatever Cam's wearing right now. Cam, that's literally covering up your eyes. Can you even see through that? I can see perfectly, Dash. Uh, <laughs> are you sure about that? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put down the rest of my armor, and hmm, let's see. What other types of armor should I use? I need to find a good chest plate. Ooh, wait, guys, what about this? It's called the steam chest plate. Look at that. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Uh, that looks kind of cool. Wait, um... Does it put a fake six-pack on you? And what, a fake six-pack? Nah, Cam, that's a real six-pack. What are you talking about? Okay, bro. Wait, guys, what do you think about this? And wait, what? And whoa, that armor looks kind of cool. It's purple. It's called, um, obsidian armor. What? Whoa! Okay, obsidian armor sounds really OP. You should definitely use that, but I think I'm gonna stick to my suit of armor. I think my suit probably looks the best one here, but I need to find some pants as well. Hmm, what type of pants could I use? Let's see, let's see. Wait a minute, what about the mutant skeleton leggings? Yo, guys, 
guys, check it out. I got the legs of a mutant skeleton. Look at me. I've got an... Oh, what? That looks kind of weird, Dash. Wait, Kim, what are you wearing? It's body enhancing armor. <laughs> and what? Body enhancing armor? Okay, well, your body's looking kind of enhanced. I'm not gonna lie. Mine is looking the most enhanced here. But guys, I gotta find some boots finally. You look, um, fake. What? What do you mean fake? What does that even mean? T look, take a look at yourself, bro. And wait, wait, hold on, guys. I think I found the boots I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the exosuit boots. Yo, I look dripped out right now. Um, if, if, if this is a drip contest, your faucet is off and you haven't had water in years. Nah, dude, my faucet is like a water well. It's dripping so hard. But here, let me go ahead and put all of my armor on this armor stand here. Yo, my set is looking awesome. Guys, remember, I'm trying to scare Weird Strict Dad off. You guys can, like, fight him. I'll just scare him away. Guys, we also need weapons. And yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. We also need to grab some weapons. Armor is not gonna cut it. We need some swords and, like, cool weapons. And <gasps> yo, wait a minute, guys. I found something cool. What about the energy sword? Wait, the energy sword? What? Energy sword? What, like a lightsaber? No, no, it's got, like, two blades. Check it out. This thing looks awesome. Check out mine. I've got a lightsaber. And what? Is that a lightsaber? That looks like two bananas. What? This looks nothing like a banana. This is the largest banana I've ever seen. If you're eating bananas that look like this, maybe you should not do that. Who's your banana dealer? What? Did I get my bananas from the grocery store, but guys, come on. We gotta find some better weapons. This sword is not good enough. This energy sword only does 17 attack damage. I gotta find something better that I could use and... <gasps> Wait a minute. What about a chainsaw? Yo! Guys, check it out. I got a chainsaw. Ah! my ears. What the heck? Oh, sorry, guys. I think it's kind of loud, but yo, this thing is awesome. Look, I can, like, break wood with it. Whoa! Stop, you're gonna let Weird Strict Dad know exactly where we are. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, yeah, you're right, you're right. These chainsaws are very loud. Hold on. I'm just gonna put this inside of my kitchen cabinet. Why do we have kitchen cabinets here? Because then you can use them to hold the armor stand and to put stuff under it. This isn't a kitchen, though. Why don't we just use barrels? They look nice. Anyway, what happened to your obsidian armor? It looks cooler. I like this better. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, but hold on a minute. I've got a sword. Now I also need to grab a bow. Hmm, what type of cool bow could I use? Let's see. <gasps> Wait a minute, guys. What about the Cupid's love bow? Instead of fighting, I can make Weird Strict Dad have a crush on me, and then he's not gonna want to fight us. Ew. Whoa! Wait, this bow is crazy. What the heck? Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, th 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 maybe this bow is actually, like, pretty good at fighting as well. Dude, I'm in my inventory. Relax. Yo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but check it out, guys. Look at how fast I'm shooting arrows. This thing is awesome. What? what leave that. Stop it. All right, guys, I was just testing it out. I just shot, like, a stack of arrows every two seconds, but I think this is definitely going in the chest. This thing is pretty OP. I found something pretty OP. Check this out. Wait, wait, what? Whoa, what the heck is that? Uh, it's called a, um, nuclear death ray. What? The nuclear death ray? Uh, wait, what does it do? Hold on. Try shooting at the wall over there. Uh, maybe put some obsidian down? And, oh, yeah, yeah. We should probably put a little obsidian, uh, blast shield. Let's just put that over there. All right, I'm firing. Here we go. Whoa. All right. Yo, what the heck? You're literally shooting a ray of, I don't even know what that is, pure sunlight. That is going in my chest. That's my main weapon right there. All right, well, I want to find a cool weapon like that as well. That is crazy. What about this for you, Dash? It's a laser rifle. And wait, a laser rifle? What does that do? Try shooting it at the obsidian. I'll try shooting it at the obsidian and... Yeah, okay, this one's kind of cool. I feel like there's something cooler, though. <gasps> Wait, I found something for Ruby. Wait, what? Uh, here you go. What is this? A, a, mi a minigun? Whoa, that looks awesome! It's not really that small. Uh, yeah, Ruby, I don't think miniguns are actually, like, mini. And whoa, 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 whoa. wait, Ruby, Ruby, did all the obsidian, all the obsidian. S sorry! Like... This week, do you think that we Weird Strict Dad is hearing this? And you, yeah, yeah, guys, we should probably keep it down. I don't think Weird Strict Dad is gonna um the, really like hearing all of these noises. He's gonna find out where we are. But wait, Dash, I found another weapon for you. And wait, wait, you did? Hold on, what is it? What is it? You're like the weapons dealer. And oh, <gasps> wait, is that a flamethrower? Yo, this is awesome. Yeah, it kind of matches your armor. Whoa, wait, you're right, you're right. And wait a minute, the best part about this weapon is that it's silent, so I can just use it in here whenever I want. Check it out. Wait, that's really cool. Wait, I have two swords. Of Look at these. And whoa, wait, those two swords look pretty cool. Wait, what do they do? So this pink one is called the life sword. It drains your health. Ooh, that's kind of cool. We're going to drain Weird Strict Dad's health. And then this is the darkness blade. Whoa, what does that one do? It causes wither three when I hit people. Whoa, okay, that is actually OP. That is dangerous right there. But hold on a minute, guys. We should also probably put some healing items inside of our cabinets. Like, what about some golden apples? Or, ooh, what about some chroma apples like those ones from those cows? Nah, I don't need to heal. I need uh, night vision goggles and a crowbar. Well, why do you need a crowbar. Uh, in case I need to get into any place. Why, why, why would you need to get into any place? What? Why, uh, you, you don't know. The, the things can happen, bro. I'm just gonna give myself a splash potion of healing. Ooh, frag grenades. And yeah, splash potions of healing are a good idea. What? Grenades? Yeah, check it out. Frag grenades. Wait a minute. Hold on, Kim. What about a stick grenade? This thing looks kind of cool. Oh, wait. I just dropped one. Oh, yo! Why? Oh. Hey! Sorry about that. It kind of landed on your armor, Ruby. Uh, yeah, you think? Oh, whoa, that was actually kind of cool. Hey, Kim, catch this. There we go. Bro, my 
<laughs> Dude, you were supposed to catch it. Dude, it's a stick grenade. I, I just uh, let's not do that. It's literally got a handle on it. That's why it's a stick grenade. What? what? No, that's not how that works. I'm pretty sure that's what the stick is for, guys. It's a handle. But anyways, check it out. We got the armory area complete. If we restrict that, tries breaking in here. We can just bow, hit the button, go into the armory room, grab the armor, and then go out and beat him up. We got this. But wait, hold on. What if we're not, uh, you know, near the armory room and Weird Strike Dad breaks in? And hmm, yeah, you're right, you're right. That would be a problem. What if we're like eating food in the kitchen and then Weird Strike Dad breaks in and he blocks off the armory room? What if he's like standing over here? Then we're not gonna be able to go into the armory room. Yeah, we're gonna need a way to like uh, protect ourselves if even if we're not near here. And oh, wait a minute, guys. We gotta set up some traps. We gotta set up some traps so that if Weird Strike Dad comes in, it'll just take him out automatically. So, uh, hmm, what type of traps could we do? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, and I have the perfect idea. And wait, wait, you do? What is it? What is it? Well, check this out. What is that? These are all the different types of turrets we have. And, whoa, laser turrets, rocket launcher turrets. Yo, yo, okay, guys, we gotta use some of these turrets. Hold on a minute. Where, how do we use these? Uh, we gotta first place down these, this turret base here. Okay, okay, and then we can put the turrets on top of them. Ooh, I see. Wait, let's try putting a laser turret on top of it. Yo, that looks crazy. Yeah, and now let's twist it out against a zombie, place that down. Yo, and, yo, yo, the zombie's getting a laser. That was awesome. <gasps> That was awesome, but wait, I'm pretty sure we can make this even better. Wait, how? Check these out. Wait, 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 hold on a minute. What are these damage boost upgrades? Hold on, how do we use these? Uh, we just put them into the add-on slot, and then everything should be working. Whoa, okay, wait, wait, this turret looks even more powerful now. Hold on, let me try spawning in a zombie to test it out, and wait, did you just spawn in a zombie? Hold on, I, I want to see this, and oh, 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 it just two-shotted it. Yo! Yo! Two-shotted? What? Maybe we don't even need to use the armory. Yeah, okay, this is actually awesome. This is going to be our own security guard, even though it's not a guard, it's just a turret, but let's go! I think our base is super well defended now. Let's go, but I'm starving. I want something to eat. And yeah, yeah, we should probably eat something. We haven't eaten anything since we got here. And ooh, wait, guys, what should we eat? We got a lot of options in the fridge. I am gonna take uh one puffer fish and two baked potatoes and one apple. I'm gonna take a stack of steak and a stack of emerald apples. This is gonna be my meal for tonight. Apple, potato, and rabbit. The best dinner ever. That doesn't sound like the best combination. What are you talking about? Nah, nah, we feasted. Mm, yeah, this stuff is juicy. You guys wanna try some of these emerald apples? They're kind of sour. I already got some. Whoa, they taste so weird. But wait, uh, speaking of apples, I'm going to go try one of those enchanted golden apples from the cows. I want to see if they're fresh. And ooh, yeah, those probably taste like super, super fresh since they're like fresh from the cows. I'm just going to keep eating these green apples, though. I like green apples a lot. Ah, but anyways, I love eating steak so much. It's probably my favorite food. It just tastes so... What the heck just happened? I don't know. Uh, hello, children. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I think we are straight down. I finally found you hiding underneath my base. Did you really think that was a great idea? <laughs> and, oh, no, oh, no, hold on. I can't. Are you still in the farm? We got to go to the armory room. I'm, I'm in the farm. I'm in the farm. Hold and, on. Uh, uh, guys, the armory room kind of got destroyed. Oh, gosh, hold on. I got to grab my armor and let me just put all this stuff on. Oh, my stuff. Guys, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. Hey, yo, weird strike dad, come here. Come back here, children. I'm not letting you get away. You're going to end up like my son. <laughs> we are not going to end up like Timmy. Oh, gosh, guys. He's trying to fight us, but he's stuck in the water right now. Poor, poor Timmy. Too bad you're the only one's gonna meet him. <laughs> what does he mean by that? I don't know, but here, take this. Get hit by my flamethrower. Let's go. Ah, death ray. Ow, ow, ow. That actually hurts. <laughs> Let's go. I think we're doing some real damage on him. Uh, I don't have any ammo. And wait, guys. Yeah, my flamethrower just ran out of fuel. Oh, gosh. I, I forgot to pack ammo. Grenades. I still have my minigun. And wait, wait, Kim, I don't think grenades do anything in the water. We gotta get him out of the water somehow. Come here, weird strike dad. Don't worry, don't worry. There's a ledge here. I'm gonna throw grenades. And ow, Kim, you just threw a grenade on me. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, did I hit you? I'm sorry. No, I'm grenading myself. Oh, uh, that's it. I'm done going easy mode. Come here. And, uh, what, 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 guys, well, what does he mean by that? That's it. I'm going full power. And, uh, wait, well, well, guys, why is he so big now? What just happened? I don't know, but he's trying to chase me. There's nothing you can do now. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, 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 we have to stop him. We have to stop him. What do we do? What do we do? I just ran out of ammo, so I can't use this anymore. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to keep hitting him with my chainsaw. Take this. Come on. I don't think this is doing anything. Oh, my gosh. He's in the farm now. Get hit by my lucky ball. Wait a minute, guys, guys, guys. I have one last idea. Should I try using the Cupid's love bow? Then maybe that could work. Try it. Try it. That's not going to work. And don't make his dad have a crush on you. It's our only home. Try it. And okay, okay. Weird streak, dad. Shake. Yes, let's go. Oh, love and affection. Oh. 
And wait, wait, did it work? Hey, wait, we restrict that. Do you still want to fight us? Uh, Timmy, is that you? And, wait, what? no, 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 I'm not Timmy. You're not my dad. Well, guys, I think I think we should go. I think it worked. Uh, Timmy, I'm sorry. Come back. And, uh, guys, guys, let's get out of here. Let, let's, let's just swim away. No, Timmy, come back here. Don't leave me again. Guys, I think let's just go. I think the Cupid's level actually worked. I was not expecting that to work. Yeah, neither was I. Now we restrict that things like you're his son. Yeah, this is kind of weird. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.